The purpose of this video is to walk you through the unpacking and preparation needed to install a Gorbel GS hoist onto a crane system. We will begin with unpacking and identifying the hoist and its components from the shipping box it arrived in. Once the box is opened, please remove the top protective packaging materials. Please locate the documentation package. The package will contain the following installation and maintenance manual, hoist test document, safe hoist operation guideline card, hoist vent plug, chain container hardware, if applicable, and packing list. Please set this aside for now. Set up an area where you can place the hoist and its components. When removing the hoist, it is recommended you have lifting assistance due to the weight of the unit. Once you have the hoist and all of its associated parts removed, we want to confirm the hoist and parts received match the paperwork. The front page of the manual will have an order number. Compare it to the order number tag on the hoist body and confirm that they are the same. Compare these to the order number on the test document and ensure they match. There is also a serial number on the ID tag of the hoist body which needs to match the test document. Please confirm the power requirements with what power is going to be used with the Gorbel hoist. If there are any discrepancies, contact Gorbel immediately for assistance. Now for the associated components. We are going to focus on the top suspension of the hoist. Please refer to the manual for the proper attachment procedure for your type of suspension. You are now ready to install the hoist onto your crane. Once on the crane, you will finish power termination, either through pre-wired quick connect or hardwired into the hoist. Locate the small hardware bag containing the attachment bolt and nut from the documentation package and place it with the chain container. Feed the non-hook side of the chain into the bag container of the hoist and attach to the hoist body as per the manual. If the hoist is a single lower hook configuration, check to see the chain is fully engaged, the swivel hook spins freely, and the capacity sticker matches capacity of the hoist. The top of the swivel will have a rubber component that activates the upper limit switch. Ensure this is fully seated around the hook body. Lastly, look at the safety latch and ensure it is functioning. Note, if this is a double fall lower hook, check the items as noted with the single lower hook and confirm that the block is not folded over or that the chain is twisted going into the lower block. Now you want to terminate the quick power connector to the hoist power cable if not already done. Look over the control pendant, cable condition, pendant case, and button operation. Now with the hoist suspended, double check the chain to make sure it is not knotted, twisted, or if a two-fall chain hoist, make sure the lower hook assembly is not double blocked. Now, power can be applied and you can test the functions of the hoist. If you have any questions throughout this process, please contact Gorbel for assistance.